This video footage is a recording of two demonstrations of fire suppression in a simulated commercial kitchen. The kitchen fires were conducted at the Fire Service College, Morton in Marsh, England, as realistic examples of incidents resulting from cooking appliance malfunction. The demonstrations illustrate the comparative performance of the Ansel R102 fire suppression system and typical handheld methods of combating such fires. For the first fire demonstration, commercially available cooking appliances were positioned beneath an extraction hood. An Ansel R102 system was installed with fixed nozzles protecting appliances, hood, plenum and extraction duct using Ansel X wet chemical agent. The deep fat fryer was filled with vegetable oil and steadily heated to the oil's auto ignition temperature of 350 degrees Celsius. After auto ignition, the fire was allowed a controlled pre burn period of 2 minutes 20 seconds before actuation of the Ansel R102 system. Temperatures of the oil and of the air in the plenum were monitored throughout. After the 2 minutes 20 seconds pre-burn, the Ansel R102 system was actuated. The fire was totally suppressed during the R102's 34 second discharge. Along with immediate suppression of the fire, the Ansulex agent formed a stabilized layer on the surface of the oil by the action of saponification. This protective layer prevented any reflashing of the fire. During the first demonstration, the maximum temperature of the oil was recorded at 392 degrees Celsius and of the plenum at 115 degrees Celsius. For the second test, the same commercially available appliances and hood were used. This time, suppression of the appliance fire was demonstrated by trained firefighters using a fire blanket and handheld portable extinguishers. The deep fat fryer was again filled with vegetable oil and steadily heated to the oil's auto ignition temperature of 350 degrees Celsius. After auto ignition, the fire was allowed a controlled pre burn period of 2 minutes 20 seconds before the firefighters began to combat the flames. Temperatures of the oil and of the air in the plenum were monitored throughout.
After the two minutes 20 second pre-burn, the firefighters applied a fire blanket to the fryer. As the fire continues, the firefighters began to apply dry powder from handheld portable extinguishers. With the fire continuing to intensify, the firefighters introduced a water spray from a handheld hose line to cool the fryer and the oil it contained. After nearly three and a half minutes, the fire was satisfactorily suppressed by a combination of handheld portable extinguishers and hosed water spray. With continued water cooling, no further reflashing of the fire occurred. During the second demonstration, the maximum temperature of the oil was recorded at 502 degrees Celsius and of the plenum, 750 degrees Celsius. These demonstrations were intended to show the conditions encountered in dealing with fire in a realistic kitchen environment. They highlight the capabilities of the Ansel R102 system for reducing the risk of fire damage to cooking appliances, kitchens and most importantly to staff 